This is where my artistic journey started. 511 South Carlisle Street. It's my mother-in-law and father-in-law's house, my wife's childhood home where she grew up. Many memories for our family. A lot of our gatherings are done here over the years. People have been married in this house. Babies have been born in this house. Generations have been raised in this house. This is where my son's first year of life was spent. And this is the house that I plan on purchasing one day, owning for our family. 1140 Maple Street. This is the block that I grew up on, you know, my adolescent years. You know, I used to, you know, play Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon in them hallways, and then, you know, we turn into getting bikes, and then bikes turn into, and then it just kind of snowballed. But this was kind of like our melting pot. This was our neighborhood right here. I learned how to ride a bike on this block, everything, you know? This was kind of where we were at. The public library specifically is where I hone my trading skills and all type of trades. I'm talking about trading cars, trading bikes, trading weapons. We would come here and we would do all type of trades and all type of activity as young men. You know what I mean? Just to try to survive, you know what I mean? If I needed a phone or if I needed to make some quick money, I knew there were other kids at the library that had access to whatever I didn't have. Honestly, I never ever would have done no shit like this, but now that I got a son, I want to capture all of it. I want him to know right where he's from, how he knows. I want him to understand where his bloodline really was made, you know what I mean? The mixture. We had the Sunoco 7-Eleven in Allentown. This was a real big intersection when I was coming up just to get anything and everything you needed. This was like our first, first point on Hamilton where we would come to as kids and you know meet up with our bikes and kind of congregate. North 12th Street. The early 80s is when my family really migrated to Allentown, but for me, this was the first building I can remember being at right here. This right here was a building that I used to come for all my Christmases as a kid. You know, all my family would meet here and congregate. So a lot of our Christmas and, and like holiday memories were really built in this building. So we got a lot of our core, core 90s memories made in this building. You know what I mean? Two four West Liberty Street. Uh, when I was in like early high school on my block, when things would get hot, I would come over here to lay low and kind of stay out of trouble, hang out with my two best friends. And you know, we used to do all type of shit in the attic, third floor attic. You know, my best friend Yos was raised by his pops, like the only single father that I ever met. Dedicated every day, would wake up 3 a.m., go to work till 7 p.m. You know, come home and just take care of his son. You know, it's where I learned a lot of my fatherhood traits from making sure he was on time every day to make sure his son had what he needed in the house. And me, as a byproduct, I was able to kind of live off of that experience and have a father figure. 360 Hanover. This is an apartment that my mom rented when I was 19 years old. So I lived here, and at the time, I was taking care of her, so I was paying the bills here. I ended up moving. My in-laws ended up owning the building. Fast forward, me and my wife get married. We needed an apartment to rent. They had an opening in the apartment. They let us move in here. We end up buying the property. A year later, I moved my brother in, and this was a house that like has a lot of, a lot of history for the family. Like, you know, my brother lived here, my mother lived here, I lived here, my sister lived here, all in their own different times. So this is like a, a, a monumental place for us in our family. Like just this little building, you know. 1649 East Cedar Street. This was my other best friends, house Sebastian. Um, there was a crew of four of us, me, Yusuf, Alex, and Sebastian. We would always be together most of the time, hanging out. His mom, Sue, used to be there with us. She would have all the food, all the snacks. We would have FIFA nights. We would have gambling nights where we would bring the dice. We would have Madden nights. Uh, my high school memories here at this spot. This house is, so my, my best friend in the whole world, like my partner in crime, we went through everything together. High school, college, after college, even now. And he lived here in his house. This was always like a safe haven for me. Like whenever I needed to go and escape again, I would come over here, hang out with my dogs. We would just do regular hanging out shit, friendship shit, bond. And we would always have an adventure or some type of party over so, here, some type of event going on in this house. Yeah. And his parents always been super welcoming me. I've been coming here since 2007. We used to skip seventh grade 
and come here. We used to skip seven period and come hang out here. Before that. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, this is like a very important place and I, and I always wanted to highlight it, you know, so. Yeah.